Hello there everyone, my name is Lordbud. Welcome to a tutorial on how to install the improved first person mod. Very cool mod. I had a video on it. Go check that out. Uh, up in the top corner. Go check that out. And for those of you who saw that video first, this is the video for you. Anyway, let's get right into the tutorial. Okay, so we're going to be installing this mod and we're going to be using a mod launcher called AT Launcher. Just so that way... Uh, it keeps everything nice and simple and easy. So we're going to start by going to atlauncher.com. You can go ahead and click download, scroll down, click uh, whichever download button for whatever operating system you have. Once you do that, then in your downloads folder, you should have this atlauncher.exe. All you got to do is on your PC somewhere, make a folder, name it something or don't. Inside of that folder, you want to drag this atlauncher.exe. Then you want to open it up and you want to launch it. And it'll go ahead and create a bunch of stuff. That's okay. It'll have this thing here. Select your language. Press yes. Then it will open up AT Launcher. Press accounts. Add in your username and your password this little box will pop up too it's just at launcher console you you can close it you can leave it open you can ignore it it's not going to do anything now that you have at launcher you can go ahead and just get that out of the way we don't need it for a second we're going to go ahead and install our mods so all of the links you're going to need all, all of the links i use um, are going to be down in the description below so we're going to first go to the CurseForge page for this mod. Scroll down. There's different pages for like the different versions. For this example, we're just going to be downloading it for the current version of Minecraft as of the recording of this 1.16.3 because that's what I used in my video where I showcased this. So you're going to click there. You're going to click on here on files. And you're going to go ahead and click that download button. If that happens, just press keep. Now, if you look over here under relations, there's all of these here. You can go ahead and click there or there'll be links for them in the description. Basically, you're just gonna go and you're going to download all of these things as well. And these are other mods that this mod requires in order to use this one, Fabric API, is not in there, but you will need it because this is a Fabric mod. I'm just going to press keep on all of these. Sometimes different browsers don't like jar files for some reason. So we're just going to go ahead and do that. And then once they're all downloaded, all right, now we're going to slide into a T launcher here. You can go ahead and close these. We don't need them. We're going to click on vanilla packs. We're gonna make we're gonna scroll down and find vanilla minecraft with fabric we're gonna click new instance we're going to name it something whatever we want to name it something you'll remember then we're gonna click whatever version of minecraft we want to install it for and then loader version make sure it's just whatever the top one is and then we're gonna press install it's gonna start installing it it will say that it's installed and that we can find it in instances. So we press OK, click on instances, find that one. It's probably at the bottom. Here it is. We're gonna press open folder. We're gonna double click on mods. We're going to go ahead and open up our downloads folder as well. There should be these here, which should be all the mods we just installed, all the first person mod and all of its dependencies. So we're gonna just grab those. We're gonna drag them into here. We can go ahead and close this. I'm just going to minimize this for now, but we'll, we are actually technically done at this point. In just a moment, I'll show you how to get Optifine with it. And now that Minecraft is loaded up, we can see it has some different uh, mods here. If we want to look at them, we can see the GUI is huge, and that is expected. The music is loud. That's because all of these settings... All of these settings are going to be default, not set to what you usually have. So you you, know, you can make a world. 
Um, and that'll be great, but quickly before we do that, I'll show you how to add Optifine to this. So to do that, first we're going to want to quit Minecraft. Uh, we're going to want to go to uh, this page here for this mod, Optifabric. Now, if you're playing in any version past 1.16, when this is made, Optifabric is supposed to be discontinued after 1.16. So if you're trying to play it in 1.17 or higher, you're going to need to use something different. Sodium is very similar and it works pretty good. So you can get that. If you guys want to see a video more about sodium, go ahead and let me know. But Optifabric, it allows Optifine to work with fabric because Optifine is a forge mod. So this link will also be in the description. Go to files. Find your Optifabric version, go ahead and download it, and go to Optifine.net. Make sure you're at Optifine.net. It should look like this. There are a lot of other websites that claim to give you Optifine that aren't real. Click on Downloads, uh, and then you can click that to find all the different versions you want. And then you're going to click Download. All this stuff, a bunch of ads are going to pop up. Don't click them. Up here in the corner, it says, please wait. So wait for that to happen and then press the skip button. Click any of that other stuff, you'll probably get a virus. Now you can click download. Now you can let the jar get through your browser. Well, you can go ahead and close those because they're pretty much done. This Optifine installer may have popped up. That is fine. Press cancel. Now you can press open folder. Go back to your mods. So this is where all of your other mods are. Now, if we open up our downloads folder, you should see we also have an Optifine and Optifabric. I'm gonna take those, just yoink those, put them into there. Now if we close it and press play, it'll launch with Optifine. All right, so we have Minecraft here. It just says Fabric Modded. You click Mods, you're not gonna see, you'll see Optifabric, but you won't see actual Optifine. You click under Options and under Video Settings, You'll see down here, Optifine HD G3 Ultra. That means you have Optifine. You'll also see, you know, your other Optifine settings, you know, shaders, all that stuff. You can go ahead and crank those up how you want. And then you can go ahead and create a world. Make a creative world really quick. All right. And you can see we spawned in. The mod is loaded. Uh, we have Optifine. You can see the zoom. See my cape. Uh, yeah, and it seems to be working pretty well. Uh, we're in creative mode, so of course we can fly. But, uh, yeah, we can, you know, do all the things that we want to do. Build with some dirt. All right, well, that's how you install the Improved First Person mod for 1.6.3 or any other version for that matter. I'm going to be making a video more talking about Optifine because some people were wondering about it. Um, I mentioned sodium earlier in the video. If you want to see a video more about that as well, go ahead and let me know. I'm planning on making a more in-depth video about a T launcher. Um, just because there is some cool other stuff that you can do with it. Make sure to go check out my links in the description down below. Twitter, um, Discord, all that stuff. Make sure you go check out the merch page. Uh, if you really, if you really like the video, you can go check out my new donation link. And yeah, uh, thank you for watching this video. Um, yeah, I got some cool videos planned for this week. Got some cool videos planned for next week. This outro is way too long. I don't know how to make outros. But anyway, uh, goodbye, everybody.